If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. The following problem will be helpful to understand the concept behind analysis of pin jointed frame. The way we isolate the members, show the forces of the joints and finally apply conditions of equilibrium to the member to calculate the forces in the joints of the frame. Consider the frame shown alongside. Compute reactions at pin connected joints B, C and D. In this case, we only have to find pin reactions at B, C and D. We will first draw the free body diagram of the entire frame as shown below. We will first find the support reactions. Now, we will apply conditions of equilibrium to the entire frame. We will first equate summation of all forces in the x direction to zero. Thus, we will find horizontal component of the reaction at support A to be equal to zero. Then, we will equate the summation of moments of all forces about point A to zero. On simplifying, we get the normal reaction about point F to be 800 newtons. Then, we equate the summation of all forces in the y direction to zero. Thus, we find that the magnitude of vertical reaction offered by support A is equal to 200 newtons. We will now dismember the frame and then draw free body diagrams of all the members separately as shown below. At the internal connection that is pin, the directions of components of the reaction are assumed on any one of the member and the opposite direction is assumed on the other member. Consider FBD of member CBA. Now we will apply conditions of equilibrium to member CBA. We will first equate the summation of moments of all forces about point C to zero. Thus, we get X component of pin reaction at B as zero. Then we equate the summation of all forces in the X direction to zero. Thus, we get X component of pin reaction at C as zero. Then we equate the summation of all forces in the y direction to zero. Thus, this gives us an equation, say one, which gives us a relation between the y components of pin reaction at B and C. Consider FBD of member BDE. Now, we will apply conditions of equilibrium to member BDE. We will first equate the summation of all forces in the x direction to zero. Thus, we get x component of pin reaction at D as zero. Then, we equate the summation of moments of all forces about point B to zero. To determine the moment arm of DY, we will consider similarity of triangles CAF and CBD on substituting the values of the lens and then simplifying, we find BD is equal to 2.5 meters. Thus, we get Y component of pin reaction at D as 1600 newtons in the assumed direction. Then, we equate the summation of all forces in the Y direction to zero. Thus, we get Y component of pin reaction at B as 600 newtons, but acting opposite to the assumed direction. Substituting the value of BY in equation one, we get Y component of pin reaction at C as 800 newtons, but acting opposite to the assumed direction. If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications.